Having this such smaller drone, I don't think I will face issues whenever I'm traveling. Like this drone is very small. Like it's actually my palm is actually bigger than the drone. So it's um I love it. I love it. I can actually hide this in a bag or my pocket and pass through the airport without being asked multiple questions of hey, where is your license? Where is your this? Where is your that? And this is not a review or anything uh, of a sponsorship. Uh, this is more of me sharing my experience and also recommending whether this drone can still hold up in today's standard. Um, first of all, I'd like to apologize to whichever noise that you may hear around. I mean, I'm outside, so this is to, uh, to be expected. So I'm very sorry about that. So firstly, getting straight into the drone appearance. I mean, the physical appearance. Um, guys, I've owned drones. I've had a couple of drones, all right? I've used a couple of drones in the past. Um, but this, having this in the hands, feel small i mean i've also had the dji mavic mini one uh, i think some years ago not so long though and i think it's similar so from the one to two there isn't much of a difference if i may say i think if i'm holding both of them you can hardly tell which one is the one and which one is the two unless maybe you see the staker or the words which are written on it they also got the 249 which is 250 gram weight so um obviously you guys do know that with this one you will be able to transport it anywhere without any officers disturbing you not to fly at certain places this camera shoots 4k it also shoot 2.7k and with each of the frames you do get a couple of uh, what you call it frame rates as well 1080 which is full hd um, you do get up to 60 frames if i'm not mistaken i stand to be corrected um, in 2.7k you also get 24 30 frames as well and if you go down to i mean if you go up to 4k you also get uh, 24 frames and also 30 frames since i've had it i flew it in a couple of places i think i've also flew it when i went to santa maria um, i'll try and display the footages here as well um everything was decent i think i pretty much like uh, the the quality out of this smaller drone and to say it actually happens to be the first drone that um, is actually capable in low lights because the one that I had was the Mavic Pro 1, yeah, and that one wasn't really good in low lights even though it was way bigger than this one and there are some features that even that one got that this one does not have so i feel like um there that there, there is kind of trade-off here and there but overall it does the job if ever you need it for certain i think uh with the two it depends on what you want to get it for i've owned both of them and i think they both got a little bit of differences in some ways mavic pro one does have a 4k but i think um with regards to the megabits it is a bit lower than this one so this one i think this one shoots 150 mb or 200 i'm not quite sure but i know it is uh, more than the mavic mini one um sorry the mavic pro one or I, I keep confusing that particular drone man i bought it off second hand market i bought it from someone and yeah i needed a drone as soon as possible to add to some of the footages that i shoot here on youtube so i decided to go with it and this particular one was the fly more combo so it came with three batteries um extra accessories and some screws and extra propellers and all that uh, i'm not gonna lie it is solid I think for the price that I paid for it, I cannot complain that much even though it's got some heavy scratches on the body, which uh, it's a downside to me right now. So that is the only problem I'm currently facing with this particular drone. I do know that now you do get the Mavic Mini 3 and the Mavic Mini 3 Pro and all those ones. But I think the major differences with regards to this one and that other one will have to be the few improvements in terms of the controller which sends signal a better signal to the drone so with that one you can fly a little bit higher without having any interference or issues with the controller and the second uh, differences will have to be it's having um, the flat profile in the pro so with if you jump to the mini 3 pro you do get the chance to um, grade heavily but with this one you do not get any um, flat profile so which means you cannot be able to or you won't be able to do massive grading to the footages when you are shooting you do get three modes okay so on the controller there is this button here which one can push to 
uh, cinema mode. Cinema mode actually gives you uh, the chance to fly the drone very smoothly. So it won't be fast and it won't be shaky, but it will fly as smooth as possible. And I'm not sure the speed that it flies in, but it is very nice and the footage comes out very crisp. So the next uh, button when you push, it goes to normal mode. Normal mode is standard. It's got a bit of speed, uh, which is I think more than the cinema mode, but it also does something similar to the cinema mode. And then the last one is sports mode. Sports mode actually increases the speed of this particular drone and yeah I think it goes up to 30 or 40 kilometers I'm not really sure I think I was having a debate with someone over the speed but I'm not quite sure about that so if you know kindly list it in the comment section so yeah I think so far with the number of drones that I've owned this actually happens to be one of my favorite drone if not the only that I actually love right now I mean uh, having this such smaller drone I don't think I will face issues whenever I'm traveling like this drone is very small like it's actually my palm is actually bigger than the drone so it's um i love it i love it i can actually hide this in a bag or my pocket and pass through the airport without being asked multiple questions of hey where is your license where is your this where is your that so i think to summarize everything the major reason why i'm making this video is for people who want to get this drone um currently or as today's standard so maybe you want to buy it maybe um you already own it and you are you want to know whether you should switch to other drones well i think it will depend on which drone or what type of drone you want to switch to if you are buying this for the first time um or you, you don't have any drone and you want to jump straight to the mini 2 i think it's a solid drone as long as you know its limitation and you are not also willing to do massive grading to it i mean already the standard profile is clean you do get uh, awesome quality that you don't even need to do massive grading to a little twist to it and then you have a great image so if you want to get this drone i think it's a solid drone compared to other drones like the mavic pro one or so i think i'll choose this over the mavic pro one because firstly the mavic pro one is very noisy i mean that one is very loud this one is a bit it's 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 much better than the mavic pro one because um i remember i took the pro one outside to the field and tried to fly the drone and um i i almost lost it a bird chased the drone because obviously they could hear the noise that it's making and it's very destructive so i think with this one and the mavic pro one i'll choose this one over the mavic pro but if ever you get the chance to pick up the mavic mini 3 pro i think that's a solid buy go for that one it it's, has a bit of advantages over this one but i think it does not have um this one doesn't have major advantages over the mini 3 just the standard 3 i think the standard 3 almost shares similar qualities and features with this one but if ever you are jumping to the mini 3 pro then i think that's a solid buy if you want to get this drone in today's standard it is a perfect drone like i said go for it try to also go for the fly more combo because you do get the additional batteries and some extra accessories as well but if you go for the standard one it is a bit of a problem because you only going to get a single battery and with a single battery you won't you'll be very much limited i mean you have to fly for 30 minutes come down charge fly again that's a bit of, i mean that's something that you personally not enjoy so overall so far so good i'm actually loving this particular drone right now and yeah i love I also i think let me add this before i go i love the fact that you will be able to charge the batteries of a uh, power bank yeah so with the mavic pro one you do not have the ability to do that with the pro one you need to unplug the battery out of the drone and plug it to a direct power which is a bit of a problem but with this one you can just use a power bank plug it in and then off you go so i think it's it's got some nice features and some hidden features that a lot of people uh, might be interested in picking this particular drone so this one is better than the mini one because uh this one handles the wind a bit better than the mini one and the mini one also does not last uh, much uh, this one actually lasts better than the mini one so i think with this one and the mini one i will highly suggest you pick up this one instead of the mini one obviously it's one so two is more bigger than the one so um if you have any questions based on this particular drone listed in the comment section i'm very sorry i'm flying very quick in terms of um talking to you guys that is because the weather is changing and it's about to rain so 
I need to make sure I pack everything as soon as possible before I damage my equipment. So yes, thank you very much for coming. Drop all your comments, uh, drop all your opinions and thoughts in the comment section. I'm more than willing to read everything. Do not forget, like, subscribe, and I guess I will see you guys in the next one.